view shed analysis. Now, view shed analysis is where thousands of years ago, it, what it does is it, it makes calculations on ground levels and hills and what you can see for five miles around. So an average person can see a distance of five miles. So what they used to do in the back in the it back in the day, as they say, um, if you had neighbours and they had a like a you had an Iron Age settlement on a hill, and you had neighbours that were within five miles away, you'd like to see your neighbours because if they were being attacked by Vikings or Romans, you could see them being attacked, and then you could put your defences up, or you could go to their aid or you could run off into the woods and bury a pot of gold coins. So you'd like to see your neighbours. So what it does is it takes the height of a person standing at six foot tall and it looks around the landscape from a certain point for all the places that you can see, all the fields that you can see from that point. If you're on a Roman road, now back in the day, if you had a villa, you'd want to see the Roman road. You'd want to see as much of a stretch of it as possible, so you could see what was going up and down the road. It's not like a motorway today; it's gone. Now this thing would be like a horse and cart trundling along, and maybe if you had a villa and some slaves working for you, you could sit one out on a certain place of your land, maybe up in the upstairs window, keeping an eye on what's going up and down the road for trade. Or there might be a legion of Roman soldiers coming down the road and you haven't been paying your taxes. You might want to run off into the woods with your pot of gold coins and bury them. And then you get attacked and killed because you haven't been paying your way. And that pot is then left there in the woods near to your villa. So what it does is if you put this view, uh, view shed analysis points on as much as the road as possible and you see places where in the landscape around the road where it's constantly hitting that place all the time as you go up the road put doing your points then that field or that place is the place to look for a Roman settlement or a Roman house or a villa and likewise for Iron Age if you've got uh, an Iron Age fort or a campment or what they call them now, you would want to see your neighbours. So you do a point on the fort and you do a few points on various bits of the fort and wherever it hits the most in the distance is the place you go and look. And that's viewshed analysis. It is awesome.